We're trolling here. We just hooked up with another one. We just released our first fish a couple seconds ago, and now we're battling another one. We're catching a lot of nice fish. And as you can see here, we're also trolling with the uh, TX-12 mini planer board by Church. Um, I like to use this board when it's colder. Uh, the water temperature is actually 37 degrees right now. So we're dealing with really cold, really inactive fish. So I like to use those little boards for detecting really subtle light strikes. This is a big fish, digging right down. Nice. Oh, just popped off. Oh. All right, just pulled this one in. I measured it at 27 inches. Caught on the Clown number five flicker shad with the chartreuse uh, mini attractor in front of it. Uh, really nice fish, only our second fish of the day. We're gonna keep fishing and uh, get a bunch more of these. It's uh, April 20th today. So it's really, really cold. Uh, the water's really dirty. We've been having a ton of runoff. So the conditions are actually pretty tough for fishing. Uh, what we're doing is we're trolling small flicker shads. We have uh, number four and number five flicker shads out. And we're trolling the Team Outdoors mini spinner uh, right in front of these flicker shads, about six to 10 inches uh, up the line, as you can see there. What this is doing for us is this mini spinner here is adding extra flash and attraction and vibration uh, to this presentation and I believe it's really helping us get some of these fish uh, in the muddier water. So stick with us here and see what we catch. Got another one on here. Feels pretty good. So what we've been doing today is finding these warm water pockets on where the water is just a little warmer than the rest of the area. Um, and it's been about that 40 degrees is what we're looking for. Um, and wherever the, the water is a little bit warmer like that seems to be holding a lot of these fish. So we've been going back and forth over these spots and connecting with some pretty good fish here. Is this that same bait? It yep. is. Oh my God, this bait is dynamite. Yeah. So what we've been doing here is running the spinner about six to eight inches in front of the bait. Uh, we've been running a chartreuse, trying to match it more with the color of the bait. Um, and it's been working really well, having that extra flash and attraction in the water to complement with the color of the baits. All right, we just hit another fish here. The bite has really turned on for us. Uh, since the sun got a little lower, we started uh, determining what baits were working better. Uh, when we started, we were using a lot more shad baits. We are using a lot of flicker shads, a lot of shad wraps. But now we uh, switched over and we've been primarily using a mix of stick baits, some husky jerks, some storm uh, thunder sticks, and this seemed to be working a lot better for us. Uh, additionally, we isolated a few areas where the water is quite a bit warmer by a few degrees and that's really been working good for us. Um, so the bite's been actually pretty decent here. We've been getting a few fish every pass, uh, a lot of nice uh, post-spawn females out here. Another thing that's worked really well for us today is trolling really, really slow. We're actually only moving at about 0.75 to one mile per hour. So we're taking it nice and easy, really finesse fishing these uh, walleyes. Here, I think this is the smallest one we've got so far today. I'll get down. You can see this one here bit on the Clown Storm Thunder Stick. And I have a silver uh, mini attractor blade. That one's about set about 10 inches right in front of the fish there. Nice one, you can see it's barely hooked. A lot of our fish have been coming with just one or two treble hooks in them. So they're really just barely nipping at these baits. Gonna go ahead and get him back right away, catch another one. All right, working on another one here. The sun's just going down. Just about ready to call it for the night, hooked up here. Fish, oh, we got a double here. I'm gonna quick get this one in, and then uh, we'll get to that one. I'm gonna come back, take this one, and I'm catching that fish. 
There you go, you can see uh, this one is on the number four Fire Tiger Flicker Shed. And then you can see that uh, mini series Team Outdoors blade right in front. That's a nice one right there. All right, nice uh, 23, 24 inch walleye here. Gonna go ahead and get this one back right away and work on the next one. All right, we're switching cameramen. Feels like another good one. Staying down pretty good. Another nice one. As you can see, the Team Wally Bite mini spinner is on there. Caught this one on a perch colored husky jerk with a chartreuse uh, mini spinner in front of it. It's about a 25, 24, 25 inch fish. Let this one go. Yep, good. All right, we're getting ready to call it a night here. The sun is setting. Uh, we had a really good time, caught a handful of nice fish. Um, the bite really wasn't too hot, but we made some adjustments and really found out what the pattern was. Uh, so it was a really good day. Make sure you check out uh, those spinners at teamoutdoors.com. They're a really nice, versatile product that'll help you put a lot of extra fish in your boat uh, in certain situations. So make sure you check those out. That's www.team-outdoors.com. Uh, make sure you look at those. Also, if you check out my website, that would be great. That's www.fishwithjustin.com. Thanks for watching.